handful players. My name is Laura and I'm going to teach you how to make finger puppets. Look what I have. It's an envelope. A used one. What is so cool about it? Envelope paper is actually thicker than copy paper so it works better to make the body of your finger puppet. Plus, look at these all kinds of different patterns that you can find inside them to make things like dresses or shirts or pants. Isn't that cool? What else is there? Vanilla envelopes and even a piece out of a supermarket grocery bag. I love these to make the skin color. Then we have magazine paper and all kinds of glossy paper from even junk mail and flyers. Then we have tissue paper, if you have it, works great to make the hair. What else do you need? A pair of scissors, some pencils or pens or thin markers to make thin lines, some markers or crayons, and then some glue. It could be a glue stick, liquid glue, tape, or even homemade glue. It works really well, and if you want, we have a recipe in the description box. All right, let's make some puppets. Here's a wide variety of examples for you to learn and choose from. There's all kinds of very different and interesting things that you can do with all the papers that you can find around your house. Some things like the envelopes, you will see it over here. The um, magazine paper for dresses. Pants out of construction paper or even um, color paper that I showed you before. If you have lines or letters in your paper, it doesn't really matter because you can turn that into something really cool. Your puppet can be a robot or a person. Then I'm gonna show you some cool hair. This one over here, spiky ones. This one over here is made out of paper that has been ripped. The paper can also be colored with markers. This one here is being colored with markers. And this other one has been colored with crayons and very neat, different and interesting effect. Here we go. Let's make the body of the puppet. The first thing is taking our envelope and measuring with your finger. Put your finger over there and make a mark about there. And so we're going to make a rectangle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's going to be tall enough to cover your finger and then long enough to be around the finger. And I will say this is three inches, about four inches or even three and a half, no less than three inches, all right? So then we're going to cut this. Okay, this is crooked, but let me make it more like this. And since we don't need that much, I think I'm going to cut it about here. Okay, so this is a rectangle. See? Long side, short side. We're going to put glue on the short side. And I'm going to use this one so you can see it. See? This is the glue. And then, you can roll it to get the glue on top. If you have trouble doing it this way, an easy way is this. You just roll it over 
your glue stick or a thick marker or anything else that is thicker than your finger. And then you have your body, right? Let's squish it. If you want, this is gonna be the part where the face goes and this is gonna be the feet. And so I like to do this so that it looks better. Okay, so that's your body. What's next? Let me take a piece of the paper bag and I'm going to cut, or actually, I'm going to draw the letter U to make the face. The letter U, you will say, yeah, the letter U. Just make a big letter U, like that. You can, and then, Add some ears and if you want spiky hair or you want to round the corners that's all go let's round the corners for now okay there and then cut it out and you're using your scissors you want to keep your hands straight and move this paper around like so and you don't have to be exactly going over the line all right so that's the face let's put some glue on it and glue it on top that's your face. You want to make some lines, some eyes. Let's see. Some eyes. Some nose. Some mouth. And maybe some eyebrows. There you go. So let's make a shirt. This is how you do it. I'm gonna use this envelope for the shirt. And so I'm gonna put my puppet on top. And this is why I like to have this cut, but you don't have to. And then you can make your shirt. Well, draw the shirt any way you like. And then you can add the letter V for the neckline mm -hmm. and cut it out. Some pants. How about some blue pants um, here? I learned a cool trick to make some pants. All I have to do is cut a straight line like this. Another one for the other leg. Put it like 
there, and right there. Put some glue and cut the cut them out. There you go. Here's some pants. How about some shoes? I have a piece of black paper. And once again, we are going to use the letter U to make the shoes. I'm going to get a paper folded in half. So when we cut, we cut two pieces the same. Then I'm going to round this and it's going to look like the letter U. And so I'm going to put some glue on the back so that they show up like this in the front in the back and then we're put in here so that's the shoes the arms let's take some more of these paper to make the arms we're going to i'm going to use the pen so you can see it better. What we're going to do is draw the letter Y, letter Y, like so, and then go around it like this, do you see that? Then I'm going to Fold it again, and then I'm going to have something like a mitten. No? You can also draw the hands. And I have two of the same. Now for the hair, let's use the same, this one is construction paper, but you can use any other paper. And I'm going to show you how to rip paper to make the hair. Just rip and rip. Hmm? What should work? Let's see, so we give in some dreadlocks. This will be cool. Let's see, let's start with some very long dreadlocks. Looking good. 
with the arms. your puppy. Enjoy. Now that you know how to make puppets, I know you're going to have a lot of questions. So I decided to put this last part where I show you how to make the different kinds of hair and some of the clothes. First of all, let's start with this one. This is construction paper that I color with um, a crayon. Let me show you how that's done. I'm going to take a piece of construction paper. I'm going to do some squeaky lines. And then all you have to do is just cut it. And then glue the face on top. For this one, I'm going to use a piece of magazine paper with kind of hair color. So I'm going to have my face here and I'm going to cut some random squiggly lines. Let's see. And then start doing it just like we did with the other part. Of the uh, puppet that we just finished. See? That's how you make it. The spiky hair, you're going to take your paper and then decide how long you want to be your spiky hair. Maybe not that long. And then start taking cuts with your scissors. And then let me put it. make sure you do this on piece of paper so you don't do some good spots on your table. So we're going to color it with the side of your marker. And that's your spark. And there you have it. The afro look. For the afro look, I'm going to take a piece of construction paper and just make a circle. It is that simple. Then take your face and glue it on top. Then we have this other one. This one is just a piece of paper bag again that I am going to color with markers. Cut 
I could put the face on top like I did on this one or I can just cut it out exactly how I did with this other one see this other one so let's do that one more time I really like the paperback paper it's so versatile there's so many things that you can do with it so next time you see a paperback make sure you grab it and ask for it and I have this make yourself a big bunch of paper puppets so have fun make more puppets and put up a play doctor doctor my pig got a scratch what should i give it hey did you hear the one about the germ mm -hmm. never mind i don't want to spread it